everyone, so today I'm here with my April book haul video. So compared to my previous book haul videos, this one is actually quite small. I still got a lot of books, but definitely not as many as I've got in the previous months. So first of all, let's start off with the books that I bought this month. So the first physical book I bought this month was Ruins by Dan Wells. This is the final book in the Partials sequence series and I cannot wait to find out how the series ends. The ending of Fragments was such a cliffhanger that I just cannot wait to find out what's going to happen with Sam and Kira and yeah I can't wait to read this one. The next two books I bought are books that I've already read but I wanted to own physical copies. The first one is Stolen Songbird by Danielle L. Jensen. This is a fancy novel about trolls and I absolutely fell in love with this book. It's such a fantastic story and yeah, I absolutely love it so I had to have my own copy. And the other one was The 57 Lights of Alex Wayfair by M.G. Buherlin, which is another one that I really love. It's about time travel and it's such a unique idea of time travel with the senders and past lives and it was amazing. I really really just had to get my own copy because I love this cover. And then I bought Me Before You by Yo-Yo Moyes. I got recommended this one by Brittany from Mrs. Story of My Reading Life and there are quite a lot of other people that have recommended this book and I've seen so many amazing reviews for it that I just decided to get it since it was actually really cheap on Amazon and this will be my first Yo-Yo Moyes book as well so I can't wait to read it. I also got Catching Jordan by Miranda Kennelly, which I've already read. It was a really cute romancy book and exactly what I needed. Um, I don't know if I'll be continuing on with the 100 Oaks series anytime soon because it wasn't fantastic but it was a really light and cute contemporary. And then I got Wonder Love by Kristen Hubbard. This is another one that Brittany recommended me and I'm hoping I'm able to fit it in either in May or June. Probably June though since I've got a lot of books I want to read in May. But I'm really really looking forward to this one. It's about a girl and she goes um, backpacking across uh, America or I can't remember where she's going herself and it's all about self discovery and stuff so I'm excited for this one. And the last one I bought was You Are Here by Jennifer E. Smith. This is one of her, her older books. Um, it's a road trip book. Uh, they're self discovery and loads of other stuff. Um, I did start reading it, I got to chapter 7 and I kind of lost the interest but I'm hoping that I will be able to finish it by the end of this month or hopefully sometime in the start of May. So this month I only got four Kindle books, one of them was free as well so technically I only bought three of them. The first one was Firelight by Sophie Jordan. This is one of the Kindle Daily Deals and it was only 99p and I absolutely loved and invited by Sophie Jordan so I can't wait to read more of her books. And then I got Elemental by Bridget Kemmerer. This is the novella that comes before Storm and this was free on Amazon and I really enjoyed that. I really loved getting to know about the older Merrick brother and what actually happened that summer even though we don't really get to know exactly what happened but it was a great novella. I also bought Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout which you guys have probably already seen my review of and you will probably already know that I completely adored this book and it's my favourite Jennifer L. Armentrout book of all time and yeah it was just amazing. And the last Kindle book I bought is another one that I've already read and it's Nash by Jay Crownover. This is the fourth book in the Mark Men series and I actually really really love this series and I love the guys in it. They may be tattoos covered in piercings but they're big softies underneath all of that and I really really love them. I love Jay Crenover's writing and Nash has been my favourite of the series so far. So this month I got a couple of physical review books. The first one I got was A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I requested this one on Bookbrigger because I've seen quite a few good reviews for this one and I have been eyeing it. So when I saw it in there I jumped at the chance to get it. And I also got Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman from Bookbrigger as well. Which is it's like a branch of headline they've got their own um, website and I really really cannot wait to read this one. The reviews that I've seen for it have been absolutely fantastic so I cannot wait to read it. And then Gemma from Little Brown Book Group contacted me and asked me if I wanted a copy of The Oversight by Charlie Fletcher and this is a paranormal YA I think, I can't really remember but I know when I read the synopsis that she sent me the email that I just really had to get myself a copy so I can't wait to read this one because it sounds amazing. 
So I got quite a few books from NetGalley this month. The first one I got was Storm by Bridget Kemera, which I've already read and I really love it. I fell in love with the Merrick Boys and oh, Nick's my favourite. I really love Nick so I can't wait to read his book and I'm really excited to continue on with the Elemental series. I also got Between the Lies by Jessica Shervington. All These Broken Angels by Peter Adam Salomon. No One Else Needs to Know by Amanda Grace. The Girl Who Never Was by Skylar Dorset. Dream Boy by Madeline Rosenberg and Mary Crockett. Midnight Thief by Olivia Blackburn. Landline by Rainbow Rowell which I honestly just started jumping up and down when I got approved for it. I cannot wait to read this one because it sounds amazing and so far the early reviews have been fantastic. And the last thing I got from NetGalley was Hex by Michelle Chris, which is another one that I kind of just started jumping up and down when I got approved for it. It's a witch book and it's set in like a high school dynamic. I think from what I remember there was mention of cheerleaders in the a synopsis so I'm assuming there's a high school setting and it just sounds like it's going to be amazing and I really hope it is. I also got two books from Edelweiss this month. The first one I got was All Lined Up by Cora Carmack which is the first book in our new series Rusk University and I got this one for review because I'm part of the blog tour in May and I already read it and it was amazing so look out for my review in May. And the second book I got was In a Handful of Dust by Mindy McGuinness. This is a follow up to Not a Drop to Drink which I haven't read yet but I'm planning on getting to it soon. Uh, In a Handful of Dust doesn't come out till September so I've still got time to get the first book and read it. And the last book I got this month was Gifted to Me by Brittany from This is Story of My Reading Life. This is one that we planned on buddy reading uh, in April and I had mine pre-ordered and I pre-ordered the paperback. Because it said it came out the same day as the hardback and that day came and went and the paperback hadn't been dispatched. And then I tried to get a hold of the hardback and I couldn't find it anywhere so Brittany was lovely enough to send me a copy of it and, I'm, and thank you so so much Brittany. And that book was Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page and we read it and we really loved it and I, oh, I can't even describe how much I love this book. I mean it was such a fantastic take on the Wizard of Oz and I cannot wait to find out what's going to happen next. Also, not only was the story amazing, the cover is freaking just beautiful and even underneath, I mean, look at that, it's just, oh, it's one of the most beautiful covers I have ever seen. So there we go, that's all the books I got in April. Let me know in the comments if you guys have read any of the books that I got and what you thought of them. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone!